AWS Cloud Job Bookmarks are a feature that helps track the state of data processing. They enable your ATL jobs to process only the new or the updated data since your last job run. AWS Clue achieves this by keeping track of the process data. Let's take a quick example here. Let's say you have created your job where the source data is partitioned based on months. Let's say the job run is also scheduled monthly and we have enabled the bookmarks feature for this job. For the first run, it's going to process the January data and keep a track of it. For the second run, which is going to happen when the February data arrives, with bookmark feature enabled, it's going to process only the February data and not January. If bookmark is not enabled, it will process the data for both the months, January as well as February. Using job bookmarks offers several benefits. By processing only new or changed data, Job bookmarks reduce the overall processing time and resource usage. Lower resource usage translates to reduced cost, making your ETL operations more economical. Ensuring that each piece of data is processed exactly once, maintaining the integrity and consistency of your data becomes much easier with this. You can set either of three values when configuring bookmarks. Enable, as the name suggests, updates the state after a run, to keep track of the previously processed data. You can disable the job bookmarks with disable option. In this case, job always processes the entire data set. Please note that this is the default value whenever you create a new job. Pause option can just pause the tracking of your run states. To understand this, let's continue our example where our job is set with the bookmark as enabled. It has already processed the January and February data and kept track of these runs. If I set the bookmark as pause now and I add the March data and the job runs, it's going to process the March data, but it will not keep a track of the March run. So the next time when the April data comes and the job runs, it will process both the March as well as April data. And again, it's not going to track this job run for the bookmarking purpose. Enabling job bookmarks in AWS Clue is straightforward. You can do it through AWS Clue console while creating or editing the job. Alternatively, you can use AWS CLI or AWS Clue API for this. Job bookmarks are implemented for JDBC data sources, AWS S3 sources, and the relationalized transform. For S3, it supports multiple formats, including JSON, CSV, Apache Avro, XML, Parquet, and ORC. Please note for S3 input sources, AWS Clue job bookmarks, check the last modified time of the objects to verify which objects need to be reprocessed. For JDBC sources, AWS Clue uses one or more columns as bookmark keys to determine new and processed data. If you intend to reprocess all the data using the same job, you can reset the job bookmark. You can either use the AWS Clue console to disable this option or use AWS CLI for this. Here are some best practices when it comes to AWS Clue job bookmarks. Monitor your job runs to ensure that bookmarks are working correctly and data is being processed as expected. You can do this by checking metrics as well as the AWS CloudWatch logs. You should test your ETL jobs with job bookmarks enabled in a development environment before deploying them to the production. You must ensure that your data schema remains consistent across job runs to avoid any issues with the job bookmarks. Using a catalog table with crawlers can provide better automation to track the newly added partitions. So it's recommended to use it. Additionally, you must document your job bookmark usage and configurations for easier troubleshooting and the foregoing maintenance.